name is Zach Shane, and for this week's challenge for Power Apps, I'll be showing you the best of my best. Uh, we've got a project management tool here. The issue, the business issue that this was solving was they had an outdated project management tool, mostly using front end development. Um, so they wanted to switch over to something more maintainable, updatable, and so Power Apps was a natural decision for them. So here they can see different checkpoints, they can see scores, all of this is calculated in Power Apps. Um, you can kind of skip through the different phases within the project. Uh, you can edit roles uh, right in the form as well. Then you have your phases here. There's basically an actions list behind the scenes in SharePoint. You can add comments. It shows you the comment history. And then you have some other menu items that you can do. So some of these have tools and resources. You can tie these to the different action. And that's all done behind the scenes using metadata in SharePoint. Um, other options, you can go and see your comments. You can insert actions above and below. You can add these to your calendars. This calls a flow. And, and so this is creating a, an Outlook um, event reminder for those individuals. So it's going to be an all-day event marked as free. And so it's just a little reminder to say, hey, this is coming up. The various phases are kind of all the same. They look the same. You can see things are highlighted in different colors. Uh, those checkpoints that you saw on the front, front screen, you can enter scores for those things. Uh, you can see the percentage as you uh, change those values and then you're saving it. You can go to the all tasks section here and you can look at all actions and then you can go to your filter pane and you can filter by phase. Uh, you can filter by who's responsible. Maybe it's the PM you're looking for. And I just want to see anything that's been completed by the PM. So um, you have different toggles and things like that and you can reset the filters and it's going to pull everything back again. So that's what that filter button does. Uh, so what I did is I have my different uh different sections here, my different canvases, and I load those up. So I do different like modals and things like that. I don't use screens. Uh, the only screen that I do have is say someone loads this up without knowing what it really is and puts it on a project site. There has to be a, a ID. So I give an example there. Uh, but that is the best of the best that I have. Thanks for watching.